So I'm here in Eureka, California. Now that's like 20 miles north of my hometown of Ferndale. And I'm here to check out a joint where this husband and wife team quit their big shot corporate jobs to get into the restaurant business. Crazy. This is Cafe Nooner. Pasta plate. They always have a interesting mix of flavors. The food is to die for. Everything I've ever eaten off the menu is amazing. Clam plate. Love of food was the one thing Lorena Filgus and her husband Joe did have. A lot of experience, not so much. So you guys have taken a gigantic leap of faith mm -hmm. buying this. You haven't been in the restaurant business. No. Temperature on that blue is medium, correct? Yes, sir. All right. So what kind of food do you do here? We do Creole Mediterranean fusion. Creole Mediterranean fusion. Yeah. Climates are the same in Greece and Louisiana. And... Oh, yeah. That's how I was looking at it. What makes their food here so delicious? Um, they do a lot of local ingredients and a lot of organic ingredients. That's an understatement. Lorena keeps it real by supporting over 17 different Humboldt County producers. Always year-round, they find a way to have fresh food, and it's fantastic. It's your pulled pork with apple slaw. You. You're welcome. Pulled pork, pulled pork. Really? Did you just make a little song about that? I did. <laughs> we are making Creole spice, and we use this to rub our pulled pork. We use it in a couple of our other recipes. It's really awesome stuff. Okay, fire it up. Okay, it gets paprika. Granulated onion, granulated garlic. You're right on it. Cumin. Thyme. Little thyme, little obey. Allspice. All spice. White pepper, black, black pepper, pepper, sea salt. I see it. And a little cayenne. Doctor. Thank you, sir. So you'll use this interchangeably on a variety of mm -hmm. the different proteins you work with. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Pork butt. Basically, we're just gonna get this spice mix everywhere we can get it. Flip it over, because this is what's gonna make it taste good. And then I'm gonna do some Worcestershire. Sure, 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 sure. A little liquid smoke. And last but not least. A little Humboldt hot sauce, and this is an habanero mango. Wrap it in foil, what temp are we going at? 350 for five hours. For five hours. There you go. Looks like. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, you there? Yeah, someplace in here. <laughs> okay, and then we're just gonna pull this the old-fashioned way, right in that juice. So now we're gonna go to the flat top. Yep. To build a little crust on it. Mm-hmm. And put a little bit of our barbecue right on that. Oh, oh. And then we're gonna put a little barbecue sauce on this side. And then this guy's gotten his brown caramelization on there. Now we dress it. Is this really how big this thing is? Yeah. Gets a little pickle and a pepper on it. Look at that. That is ridiculous. The liquid smoke, the dry rub, the Worcestershire, the Humboldt habanero hot sauce. All of that together, that's some of the best out of the oven pulled pork I've had. Killed this. Oh. I don't know how they make it crispy and tender at the same time. Love it. The barbecue sauce is, I honestly would like to take a bath in it. This was my English teacher in my sophomore year of high school. This is Mr. Politano. A man with a mustache my size. I need a stack of napkins to get into this sandwich. See how he sets it up vague at the beginning? He's not really talking about the food. He's just bringing you into the moment. And then you dig into the sandwich. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh, God, that's good stuff right there. Good job. Really good job. You're going to love you. this. So that's it for this edition of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. If you want to check out some of the recipes for the joints we visit, go to foodnetwork.com. I'll be looking for you next time on Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. I mean, everybody makes pulver. I'm a therapist. Yes, you are. <laughs> Tell me about your mom. Oh, God, now you're therapisting me. Therapisting you? Yes, I, I coined that word. Tell you, mom. Is that a real word, therapisting? Uh, no, it's not. Thank you very much. I just now bring my English teacher with me.